A supercomputer with sophisticated AI? Yes, please. Secure Ninja. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia Webb. Secure Ninja TV was recently in Tel Aviv, Israel at Cybertech 2017. IBM was exhibiting and our director and producer John Miller was able to get a demo of IBM Watson. It's a supercomputer with AI abilities to fight cybercrime and it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna talk about Watson Cyber, which is a cognitive platform that connects to your SIM environment. Um, at the moment it only connects to key radar and what you would normally get from your SIM uh, environment is this, this list. This is actually a list of incidents taken um, from the rules of key radar. Every incident is, is uh, produced by uh, actually initiating rules upon the events that we get in real time. And the added value of uh, Watson Cyber is actually the enrichment of those incidents. For example, if I um, go to a different kind of a perspective, a bubble perspective, I can see that the suspicious action from document is one of the most impacting uh, incidents that, that we would like to explore. So normally in QRadar, we would only get those two panes. We would get the, just the, the, the dry information, the incident type, the categories, the IP address, the description, and so on. And what we get from Watson Cyber is actually a cognitive insight written in a human language that actually explains what Watson found in the, in the hundred thousand of documents that it scanned. So if we dive deeper to the Watson tab, we can actually see that Watson actually discovered exactly the type of the campaign. Watson says that this is a campaign called Loki, a very known campaign in the cyber community. It also saying that it found six documents related to this campaign, three domains, and six assets within my organization involved. Now we can dive a little deeper and also get a visualized result that explains the insights that we just talked about. So let's see what we get here. This is the internal assets of our organization. It's a specific IP. And we can see that Watson found that this IP relates to an Excel file that relates to an EXE file. Now, we can start to understand that what happened here, um, at the beginning, we actually saw that the event was suspicious action from document. So we can start to understand that someone probably downloaded an Excel file with an unauthorized macro and initiated an EXE file. Now, what Watson telling us that this IP actually connected to other IPs and to a specific domain that Watson discovered as malicious and as anomaly. This domain relates to a specific campaign that Watson also identified, a campaign called Loki. And this campaign called Loki connects to several other domains. Every domain, as you can see, is also related to other assets within our organization. So eventually we can understand that we have six different IPs in our organization that were infected by the Loki campaign. Now if we go a little bit back, we can see how Watson actually got to those insights. So we can actually take a look in the stages. So at the first stage, Watson told us that it found two suspicious domains. We can also see that this IP connects to three uh, suspicious IPs originated in Russia. We can go to the next step and see that Watson discovered that this domain actually relates to two different campaigns and one malware called Neutrino. As we go to the next step, we can see that Watson isolated just the Loki campaign, meaning that this is the campaign that is relevant for us. Now, you're probably wondering how Watson does all that and enriches the SIM system because in our curator SIM system, we only got the IP, the Excel file, and the EXE file. All the other icons in the screen were actually brought by Watson. So Watson is provided by IBM. It's a cloud service connecting only to QRadar at the moment. And what it does actually is ingesting um, 15,000 documents per month. Those documents are actually um, 
ingested in accordance with the uh, X Force and also other uh, documents taken from um, eight leading universities. And those documents are actually being text analyzed, and specific um, specific entities are extracted. Those entities are actually translated into sticks entities. For example, if Watson is extracting an entity called Loki, then a translation to the Styx language is being done and Loki is classified as a campaign. Eventually, this is what we get. We get a full context of a specific IP, a specific IOC that we got in our incident is translated to the bigger picture of the attack. Is the information that Watson is pulling from all open source or is, it all, is a lot of it proprietary information? The information is, um, is taken from several other, several different places. As I said, the first one is blogs, is uh, uh, forums online, sites, but not only. It's also taken from uh, investigated documents from universities, also taken from X-Force and other uh, feeds provided by IBM. Does it also uh, learn from all of the uh, events that it finds? No. It, uh, no, Watson, because you, you don't want to contaminate Watson with uh, specific information that was found on uh, someone's environment. It's a cloud service, and IBM is uh, maintaining this, this uh, environment and keeping it uh, with the right information. So you don't want to contaminate with uh, someone's environment, someone's specific uh, information. And how is this going to help uh is it going to be just a real advancement in speed of uh, identifying events? Actually, the, the whole point of, the, of this technology um, is to get to the zero day. Zero day means that once, once you get an, uh, an attack, you want to eliminate the attack as it happens. I mean, arriving to getting to this kind of a complex map of relationships between entities in the sticks language would probably take um, weeks to several analysts and the big added value with Watson is that it enables you to get all this information instantly without any analyst and you can actually just go to the next stage which is uh, the resilient stage and uh, take care of the specific campaign that was uh, uh, that impacted your organization. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe to Secure Ninja TV if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the great content that we produce out in Tel Aviv, Israel at CyberTech. Also, make sure you check out the videos that are coming up from this show right here, RSA 2017. Leave us a comment below and let us know what you thought of IBM Watson. Do you think it has the ability to fight cybercrime with its AI abilities? I'm Alicia Webb and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!